Hello everyone, here we have another video and this video is um, going to be about how to tell time. Okay, so let's go through it. Okay, so we call it Sat Okumak. Okumak means reading and which means telling time. Sat means time and at the same time means clock. Okay. Uh, okay, here we have the time like sharp, okay? Um, we have the o'clock version. Here we say sat bir. This is what we do. We say sat and then we tell the number of the uh, existing, I mean, the number existing here. Sat bir. Sat iki. And it goes like saat, üç saat, dört saat, beş. So it means it's one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and it goes. Okay. Um, here, when it is p.m., uh, you can say saat on yedi. Saat on yedi, which means it's 17 o'clock. Or um, you can say akşam beş, akşam beş, and this one is much more formal because it's, I mean, the way we read the digital time. And here is five evening, akşam means evening. So we can say five o'clock, like saat beş, akşam beş. Or saat on yedi. Here, this is a.m. So we say saat beş, and it usually means sabah beş, like morning five. Okay. Here, um, when we want to say half. Uh, first, we'll tell the digital form, then the analog form. Okay, here we say saat on iki otuz. On iki otuz. Like twelve thirty. On iki otuz. For the analog form, we say saat on iki buçuk. Buçuk means half. Saat on iki buçuk. Okay. Saat altı otuz. Saat altı otuz. Is the digital form. Saat altı buçuk. Saat altı buçuk. You can figure out how it goes with other numbers. Okay, and for 15 minutes, they call on dakika. For 15 minutes, they say on dakika or quarter. Quarter is çeyrek. Çeyrek. So we have 15 minutes, like on dakika, or quarter, which is çeyrek. Okay, the system is um, here. We add the hour at the um, beginning, then according to the number and the uh, vowel system, the harmony of uh, vowels, we add e or a at the end of as a suffix at the end of the number and 
this suffix means to. Okay. Then we add the minutes. And dk means dakika, which means minutes. When we want to say two, there's a mouse, okay. When we want to say two, and we say kala, or we say var, or we say kalior. Kalior. These three uh, sentences, kala means it is still two. We have time to. Var means exists, like there is. And kalior means like it is still getting close. Hasn't, hasn't finished yet. It remains, still remains to come to the time. Yeah, that means that. So, so. Uh, at the bottom, you see, we can change the um, place of time. Like here, we have uh, minutes first, and then we have the hour. So we put minutes, then we add hour uh, with the suffix, which means two. And then we have color, var, or color verbs, as you see. So let's uh, make it clear which mo uh, with some examples. So we have bire on dakika var. So this is the hour. It gets the suffix. Here we have e because of e here. On dakika, 10 minutes. I'm going to give the all examples with 10 minutes. So you'll understand how this suffix works. Bire on dakika var. It means it's 10 minutes to 1. Now we are going to say it's 10 minutes to. To 2. Ikiye on dakika var. Ikiye on dakika var. So here we have the suffix e because of e, but because these two vowels cannot get um, beside each other, we need this y sound here. Üçe on dakika var. It's ten to three. Üçe on dakika var. Dörde on dakika var. Dörde on dakika var. Okay, we have dirt, which ends to t, but when we have the suffix e here, it turns to d. Just pay attention for that. We had this for between t and d in this come and go and change. Beşe on dakika var. It's five. Sorry, it's ten to five. Altıya on dakika var. Altıya on dakika var. It's ten to six. You see here we have the suffix a because we have the uh, letter u here. It's from the thick sounds. So we have the um, suffix a. Yediye on dakika var. Sekize on dakika var. Ten to eight. Dokuza on dakika var. It's ten to nine. Ona. On dakika var. So it is 10 to 10. On bire on dakika var. It's 10 to 11. On ikiye on dakika var. So it is 10 to 12. Okay. Now we are going to learn how we say past. So we have our. We have the suffix e in four different forms, like e, e, u, u, different forms. And then we have the minutes here. Then we add the word geche or geçiyor. And it means it is past. It is past. I mean, this minute has passed from this hour. 
okay this is how it goes so let's go for the examples biri 10 dakika geçe it means 10 past 1 okay this is at 10 past 1 when we say geçiyor it means it is past the and the sentence is finished but here the, this means at 10 past 1 2 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 2 3 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 3 4 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 4 can you see that here we have u because of u and we have u because of ö these are the four different uh, forms of that suffix i mean this is e we have u we are going to see the others beşi 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 5 altıyı 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 6 so here we have the suffix ı because of ı here and we have ye in between for making the pronouncing easier yediyi 10 dakika geçe sekizi 10 dakika geçe dokuzu 10 dakika geçe here we have u because of u and o actually because of the last syllabus onu 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 10 on biri 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 11 on ikiye 10 dakika geçe at 10 past 12 okay so if you want to say it is 10 past 1 we say geçiyor we add geçiyor at the end of the sentence biri 10 dakika geçiyor iki 10 dakika geçiyor and üçü 10 dakika geçiyor dördü 10 dakika geçiyor and so on so let's have some um examples here saat biri 10 geçiyor it is 10 past 1 biri 10 geçiyor saat biri çeyrek geçiyor saat biri çeyrek geçiyor it means a quarter it is a quarter past 1 saat bir buçuk saat bir buçuk saat ikiye çeyrek var saat ikiye çeyrek var saat ikiye on var saat ikiye on var okay these are how we um read the read the time in analog form if you want to just have it in um the digital form we say saat biri on geçiyor fine saat biri on beş geçiyor ya da bir on beş we say bir on beş bir otuz or biri otuz geçiyor uh, saat bir kırk beş sorry saat bir kırk beş and saat bir elli I think I have the same thing here. Yeah, here I have given some sentences. So we say saat biri on dakika geçe. We can say dakika after the minutes as well. Uh, saat biri on dakika geçe gel. Gel means come. 
So we say come at, here we have getche, come at 10 minutes past 1. Okay. Saat biri çeyrek geçe gel. Come at a quarter past one. Saat bir buçukta burada ol. At half past one. Be here. Okay. So we have be here at half past one. Saat bir buçukta burada ol. Saat ikiye çeyrek kala gel. Come at um, half, sorry, um, a quarter to two. Come at a quarter to two. Saat ikiye çeyrek kala gel. Saat ikiye on dakika kala gel. Come at ten minutes to two. Saat ikiye on kala gel. Okay. Um, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, please um, do not forget to um, just click on the bell icon after you subscribe so you will be notified when the new video comes because I don't um, put vi videos regularly it may take time or they may come fast like after each other you need to be notified if you think this video can be helpful for some uh, other people feel free to share and uh, good luck.